Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, we are gonna talk about the time intelligence in, on Power BI. We're gonna talk about particular about the functions in the DAX, same period last year and previous year. There is a difference between these functions and as you know, it's better to see them on the practice. And that's why I wanna bring you to the Power BI dashboard. Let's go there. Let's see what is the difference between them. We actually has, have a great, um, on the Microsoft Learn, we have a great material about that, right? Um, let's start from the, now we we are on the parallel period, but I don't want to see first parallel period because I want to start with the uh, same period last year, right? Um, same period last year, what it does say. It returns a table that contains a column of dates shifted one year back in time for the dates in the specified dates column in the current context. So it's in the current context of so today, and it's bringing us one year back on the same day, right? So um, if you click on the examples, we're gonna have the examples here. So let's go to the examples and copy this. And I, I, wanna, I wanna show you how you can independently find the application modes of these um, formulas at the end. Uh, I also didn't have the, um, I didn't have the, everything inherited so I, I didn't start everything uh, to write the business intelligence uh, DAX uh, formulas uh, as something that I got talented but I started to research and learn and to uh, understand how, how can I apply it anyways let's go to the topic and now um, let's take it's a sales analysis as always we got the uh, date we got the sales and we are gonna use the see from the sales table we are gonna use the sales uh, data from the data date uh, dimension table we are going to use date so it's a fact table it's a transactional table and this one is the uh, dimensional table so uh, what we're going to do now we are going to create a new measure and i'm going to call this new measure the same period last year same let me make it bigger so you can see better period uh, last year right and i'm going to just pass what i have copied over there in the microsoft learn I'm gonna use the function. So you have what, what you have, uh, calculate, and the calculate you're using the function. It's a sum function. It can be our average function too, like what, what, whatever is it. I'm not sure, it can be average function. It, you need to think about that. You, it might be other aggregation functions, so it doesn't have to be the sum function. Anyways, the sum of the sales, right? Sales for the date. And date right this part we don't need this part we'll need this for in the future okay let's run it and I want to have a table here in order to show you the what we got here right I'm gonna take this matrix this matrix I'm gonna feed this matrix with the date and column on the rows we're gonna have the date come on right it starts from the 1st July 2017 and uh, this one that we have created now, the same period last year, we need this one here. Okay, now in order to show you what has changed, actually, I'm, I'm gonna show you the, um, I'm gonna show you the sales values as it is without the, any calculation and so on. But I won't have the sales in the first. So it starts from the first July, but on the first July we don't have anything for the same period last year because of course it says last year, so 365 days. As you see, on 1st July of 2018, we have the same value of the 1st July of 2017, and the 2nd July is gonna be second day, and so on and so forth, right? Second day, third day, and so on. Easy. And the total is this one. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go to, to, to the second one now. The second one is parallel period. Let's see the parallel period and see what's the difference between parallel period. Um, Parallel period, it says the table contains a column dates represent the period parallel to the dates in the specified dates column. Let me see what's the examples of that. Calculate, uh, so it has the calculation here, aggregate, it has the parallel period. Then you show what is the date that you want to go back. If you want to go back one year or you want to go back a, a month or something like that. And how many years you want to go back. Let's copy this and show you on the practice how it works was the parallel period last year, right? I'm gonna call it parallel period last year. Oh my God. Parallel period last year. All right, you, you got it, yeah, you got it. 
So the calculation, I'm gonna say, take the seals here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the seals within this, not the date, not the date here. We don't need this part anymore. And one year back, right? Everything correct. I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna have here the parallel period now. Here is it, parallel period. I'm gonna drag it and drop it here on, uh, on my matrix, matrix, matrix. Do we have here? Yes, we have this here. So what's the difference between these two? Let me see. So first year, we don't have anything for both of them, right? On the second year, I actually I actually was supposed to have on the second year. No, we don't have second year until Ju 1st July because it takes the, exactly the same day. But in difference, this function takes you from the first day of the calendar. So what it what it does actually, it takes the sum of the sum of the it's kind of do you remember the the function that we talk, talked about the year to date it actually takes the sum of all the days and arrives until here well let me let me show you on the practice now let me take you this the card and here we're gonna have the sum summation um, of the seals okay let me drag the seals in and drop here and I want sales to be filtered until the date. I'm, I'm, I want to have the date here. Uh, the, the date is going to be here. Uh, actually, not date. Let's take the year. Month. And do we have year? Yeah, we, have, we got year here. So I want a year to be only the financial year, not financial year. Uh, let's select all a part of... Um, let me think. I work around why it has this kind of thing. All right, cool. Use it. So we would love to take uh, July, August, September, October, November, and December. We are not gonna include the January because it goes to say. So this is exactly eight million. What it calculated? It's eight million of until the January, right? And then, do you remember like in the um, year to date we saw something similar? So you can recall from that. And the last one is remaining. Uh, let me see. Oh, 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 that one too. It was the uh, previous year. The previous year, here, previous year, previous year, uh, returns a table that contains the column dates from the previous year, given the last date in the days in the current context. So it takes the from the previous year. So it's a column contains. So it has two um, parameters: the year and date. So you can say that what's the year and date, by the way, as uh, as on the year to, year to date, and also the dates column contain the dates. All right, and then you are using the calculate and this function is not supported for the use of direct query mode when used in the calculate column or row level security rules all right we are copying this as well going back creating the new in the time intelligence working into the measure and this measure i'm gonna call the previous year previous previous year we're passing it pasting it and here i'm gonna take back the seals and from the date, date, um, I'm gonna take the date, right? Mm, that's it, that's it, let's run it. Now we're gonna have here the P R Y R. P P Y R. Okay, basically it does the same as the parallel period last year did. The only thing that on the period, uh, p uh, parallel period last year, you can customize it how um in the parallel period last year you could have said i want to have the um not, not last year but not last minus one last month data right mm, calculation so if we if we customize it for the month i'm supposed to have monthly um accumulated some of the sales right so for all july i'm gonna have 489 uh if i'm gonna see it let's select me only the july 489 so it was the topic about the time intelligence so i think that we have finished time intelligence topics for you now and uh, i hope you enjoyed just make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're not gonna uh, lose the miss the other topics and mm, soon i'm gonna also do review of the uh, of the topics like mm, 
the research papers. I think it's interesting topic, and I got the positive feedback. I got I was encouraged to talk about the different research papers in finance, in data science, in data analytics, and uh, I'm gonna experiment this. And you're not gonna get get for now the um, the 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 um, alert from your notifications, but uh, if you are interested, you can uh, search on my channel and find about that too. Have a nice one. Bye.